Epson Print Layout is designed to make printing easier and more intuitive. The settings are designed to work from the top to the bottom. Let's start first in the printer section. Here you would select the printer. In this case, we have the P900. I have renamed the printers in my system preferences instead of the full name to also make this easier. Here you would select the paper or the media type that you're going to be printing on. In this case, we'll choose Epson Premium Luster. Then select the paper size. A3 Plus is 13 by 19. 17 by 22 can also be done with the P900. But let's choose 13 by 19. The paper source is standard in this case. With the P900, there is a roll adapter, and I can do that with rolls, or I can use the front fine art feed. Different printers will have different paper sources, but in this case, we're just going to use standard. There's a new technology from Epson called Black Enhance Overcoat. It is designed to increase the DMAX, or the blacks, on glossy papers. Epson Print Layout supports Black Enhance Overcoat, and in the case of the P700 and the P900, the mode is also known as Carbon Black. You can select Carbon Black, or you can also select Max Quality, then select Carbon Black. The key is, while you can use it on some of these papers, it's designed for very high gloss papers. And I would choose an image more like this, where it has large areas of DMAX or dark shadows, but also colors. And we really want those blacks to be rich and dark and hold all of the saturation. So in this case, I would go with Epson Premium Glossy Paper. I have the option of selecting under Max Quality Black Enhance Overcoat, or I can go to Max Quality Carbon Black. It's the same thing and it's grayed out. Gloss smoothing is for a different application and not recommended for this type of imaging. If I were to select a paper like Legacy Textured, and I were to go here to Max Quality, you'll see there's only two options, Standard and Max Quality, because of the carbon black mode on the P900 or P700, or Black Enhance Overcoat cannot be selected when using, in this case, a fine art textured paper. It's only for high gloss papers using photo black ink. Depending on the paper that is selected, in this case, Legacy Barita 2, if we go to quality, we have several options from standard through max quality. In general, max quality for the finest output is a safe selection, although you would find that high quality would work in, in many cases too, depending on the size of the final print. Quality and standard are more for smaller prints or draft prints or production modes. In this case, we would select max quality. But when we select a cotton fiber fine art paper, such as Legacy Fiber, and if we go to the quality section, there's only two selections. Standard is a quick print. I just want to see what it looks like. But when printing on these types of papers using matte black ink, such as Legacy Fiber, final prints should be on max quality. And Black Enhance Overcoat, also known as Carbon Black with the P700-900, are not available because that mode only works on high gloss papers. If you ever find that you need a special custom paper size that is not available in the paper size pull down menu, go to Manage Custom Sizes, click the Add button, name your size, put in whatever the width may be. This is just an example. Click OK. And now our test paper size is available in this pull-down menu.